basically there are some entomologists who are <laughs> okay okay never mind i wasn't saying anything at all okay so the dung beetles you're going to be breeding some dung beetles yeah because we are running out of dung beetles yes and Correct. it's not just the door this is a door dung beetle this is the one that goes under the ground that we're doing these specific traps for yes yes so we're, we're hoping to catch these beetles um, and increase their population because they're in, in big decline yeah because we've been using mid-season wormers and fly control products that uh, linger both in the animals um, metabolism and uh, also in the in the environment so you know if an animal is, is drenched with a, a poron for example yeah that, that stays coming out unmetabolized out of the animal for we know it's it's damaging for up to 28 days after it's been administered 28 days 20 and then days. a lot of and times then, people are re-pouring it on again yeah but even after, at that 28 day point so if you do it in if you use a pour on at the end of june yeah that's still coming out of the animal at the end of july yeah that that patch is out in the field then um, still in in a dangerous state for a long period of time after that it's still for it, any of the dung beetles not, yes, just the door, not just the door it's all the other ones like the beautiful copper ones brass ones the correct. black long ones the big round door beetles yeah correct yeah so any, any of those beetles and, and not even be not just beetles uh any copragus um, insects so that means any because there's are, some of those are water beetles and things water like beetles, that there's staphylinia there's there's even the fly like uh, flies that are pollinators or dung flies yeah the um, um hoverflies correct, and those yes. also i always see butterflies and bees and they're all looking for minerals that yeah, are in the manure that's correct. and that's this is something that's it. so important is because people have noticed the butterfly population going down so it's, and it's, if the insecticide is in the manure the yeah. butterfly is going to be eating that insecticide as so well. What we're trying to do is um, by increasing the populations of these that we're getting rid of the dung pat off of the field before the, um, the, the parasite eggs, the animal parasite eggs, yeah. hatch and get onto the grass into in um, stage three infective stage larvae. But you're also, le are, what is your grazing rotation? Is it still tight or have you yeah, lengthened it? No, it, it is, it is tight, yeah. Yeah, we, we would be on a, basically a three week rotation. So what we're- Which is a very short rotation. Yeah, we can go shorter, it's, it's a little should bit shorter. Be, I'm of the philosophy that it's a longer rotation. Well, we'll leave that for another discussion. Yes, we'll leave what that we're for doing, another discussion. What we're doing is we want to get, get rid of the feces off of the field. Yeah. To get rid of the parasites. Yeah. So basically negating the use, the need for the use of, of wormers. And porons. And porons. Yeah. Yes. So um, that should leave us with more dung beetles on our pasture. Yeah. To get rid of more parasites. You see where this is going? Yeah. So um, yeah, basically what we're doing is uh, leaving more opportunity for other insects and other, other species of dung beetles. Yeah. That we're not breeding. Should yeah. uh, uh, increase the populations as well on, on, the, on the pasture. Gotcha. Well, here's hoping. Ow! What are that's, you doing? That's the, that's the argument they make. You know, if, far, if farmers don't use, don't. So the, the, it's a two-pronged approach. 